welcome to Seeing Through Glass. Welcome to the Circuit de Catalunya for F1 2018 pre-season testing. I'm very kindly being hosted here today by Aston Martin Red Bull Racing. It is about two degrees, so I'm not entirely sure how much running there's gonna be on track, but I am so excited, I can't even begin to explain. As far as I can remember, the first full season I watched of Formula 1 was 1997. I remember Damon Hill winning the championship in 1996, but I've been hooked ever since. And leaving school, I wanted to work in Formula 1. I just didn't know how. I wasn't a mechanic, I wasn't an engineer, I definitely wasn't a good enough driver, so I ended up doing some other things. But weirdly, through YouTube, through the passion of making videos, filming cars, being around cars, I've ended up being around Formula 1. And a lot of you might be thinking, why on earth are you bothering to go all the way down to pre-season testing when there's very limited running and it's literally just cars going around the track. It's because I love this sport. I am obsessed. Red Bull Racing are looking very competitive. Yesterday was day one. Today they really haven't been out on track that much but it's an exciting time because usually they've started the season quite slow and ramped up towards the end but they're looking hot right out of the box. Anyway, I'm in the paddock at the moment, about to jump on a bus and go around the track to hopefully see some cars from some different corners. Anyway, crack it on. Well, I've played this track a hundred thousand times on the PlayStation and watched it so many times on TV, but it's so different in real life. The undulations, but also how narrow it is in certain sections. I know a lot of press drives and track days happen here, so I think I need to come back and actually experience it. But yeah, just a shame that there's not more cars. Actually, I really wanted to be in a slow moving bus on the side of the track when a Formula One car came past at full speed, but that's just not happening. I'm not entirely sure what the program is now, so I'm just gonna hang around taking the views, taking the sight, taking the sounds, and keep enjoying my first ever time at F1 preseason testing. There seems to be a rave happening out here on the, on the pit lane. There's music and there's F1 engines inside here, which is the Red Bull hospitality over the pit lane. Max Verstappen has just walked in. He's being mobbed by about a thousand people, so I'm letting him crack on and do his signings and stuff. And uh, anyway, it's cool that he's come up to visit everyone, but yeah, bit of a rager now. Um, they've decided to pass or skip over the mandatory lunch break that they usually do at testing. Because there's such limited running going on, they want people to get out. And obviously, midday is the hottest time of the day. Uh, so they've skipped over lunch, cards are going to continue. and awkwardly stare at Max Verstappen from across the room. Now, if you're a regular viewer of Formula One, you'll know that for each of the races, the drivers get lent cars by their team or engine manufacturers to drive to and from the tracks. So, today at testing, I wanted to play a game. Could I match the cars in the team or driver's paddock with the driver? This very cool looking Aston Martin D11 in all black has been pictured being driven by Max Verstappen. So, Red Bull Formula 1 driver Max Verstappen driving an Aston Martin Red Bull Racing liveried Aston Martin DB11. Hopefully you now understand the aim of the game. Let's crack on and see what else we find. Renault, of course, not only an engine supplier these days, but they have their own factory team. We've got two, actually one in the paddock and one here. Very yellow Clio RS trophy. So I'm assuming this is Nico Hülkenberg and Carlos Sainz rocking around Spain in these little yellow hot hatches. This Mercedes S63 Cabriolet Cabriolet 
convertible S63, even though it's got Brabus parts, I think it's a little too grand for either Valtteri Bottas or Lewis Hamilton, so I'm putting this down as Toto Wolff's company car. Now, if you didn't know, this year Honda have switched as engine supplies from McLaren to Toro Rosso. And considering that the Civic Type R is essentially in the same livery as the Toro Rosso, I'm assuming that this is Brendan Hartley or Pierre Gasly's whip for the week. A stunning McLaren 570 Spider, which has been driven down here from the UK by a young McLaren driver, Stoffel Van Dorn. I've seen many 570 Spiders in this spec. The stunning blue with the tan interior all looks lovely. Would be perfect for Spain if it were sunny. I very nearly missed the C63 saloon just chilling here. Now, obviously Mercedes supply engines to a number of teams. They don't just have the factory team. So this easily could be one of the Williams or Force India guys. But yeah, looking very cool. Just chilling there, all cash, all white. And uh, yeah, parked up. Now this has to be the second coolest company car here, a Mercedes AMG GTR. Now I saw some footage of this car being driven around early this week by Lewis Hamilton on track, so I'm hoping and I'm praying that he's also driving it around the Barcelona area because if you are a multiple Formula One world champion, wouldn't, isn't that what you would do? Just grab the keys to that and drive it everywhere? Amazing. Now I know that throughout the year the Ferrari guys don't always get Ferraris to drive to the various tracks that they visit. In fact they get like some Maseratis, a few Alfa Romeos and a few Jeeps. So Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio slammed up in the driver's car park suggests to me that this will be a Vettel or Raikkonen. And to finish things off, we have one more McLaren 570S Spyder. And considering that we've already seen the car that Stoffel van Dorn drove down here in, I'm assuming this is Fernando Alonso's whip for the week. What a stunning blue. Ties into some of the designs of his new helmet. Parked up here, white interior. I still haven't driven a 570S Spyder. I need to get my hands on one and experience what that car is like without the roof. Anyway, enough cruising around car parks. Let's head back into the track and see what's going on. brings an end to my first ever day of Formula 1 pre-season testing even though there are still a few cars bashing around the running is definitely slowing down now because the temperatures are dropping again most teams are starting to pack up a huge thanks to Aston Martin Mobile Racing for having me down here it's been such a special occasion for me myself but I hope you guys have enjoyed this look ahead of the F1 season but also at some of the cars that have been lurking around in the paddock here give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come